Hey, what's going on guys? It's Daniel here as usual, and today I'm going to be continuing the Unity 3D tutorial series. And uh, for this episode it should be relatively quick, but what we're going to be covering is like some kind of artificial intelligence thing. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're just going to need one script for this, so go ahead and do the usual. Go ahead and create a JavaScript, and you can name this whatever you want. Doesn't matter, I'm just going to call it uh, Enemy Movement. And just because they'll eventually be an enemy, so I might as well name the script that. And go ahead and open it. Wait for your thing to load. Then once it loads, what we're going to do is remove all of this. And we're going to need one variable. And we're going to call this target. And this is going to be a transform. So we're going to need the position of the target, which we'll set. And then we're just going to need one function. And this function is going to be function update, as usual. Uh, wrong button. There we go. And inside of the brackets, we're going to do transform. So we're getting the transform of the script, the object that we have the script attached to. So transform dot get component so what this is doing is it's looking for a component that is on the object that this script is attached to so then on the inside we need to fill it with a string so we're going to put nav mesh agent there we go nav mesh agent and then we're going to do dot destination and this is going to be equal to our target dot position. There we go. That's all the scripting you need to be doing for this episode. In fact, it, it this is a really simple thing. So this is going to just this is what this is going to do is every uh, time that the function update is called, it's going to look for the nav mesh agent component on the object, and then its dot destination variable for the nav mesh agent is going to be equal to our target's position. So once we set the target to the player, it will constantly keep moving towards the player's position. Therefore, it will be coming at us. So then once we're done with that, you can go ahead and minimize it or close it. We won't really be needing it anymore. And now what we need to do is select your plane or whatever it is that you have for walking upon. And this box next to the, the the name will be unchecked and it or should be unchecked and then uh, it'll say static you're going to go ahead and check that and now we're going to need one more thing so you're going to go up to the top and it should be window and then down here at the bottom is going to be navigation if you don't have this you need to update unity because this used to be a pro only thing but they changed it recently so now you can have this what i'm showing you so you're going to go ahead and open the navigation window. It'll, it'll put it somewhere. I like to have it right here, though. And then what we're going to do is make sure that you have this selected and, and this uh, static box is checked. And then we're going to go ahead and hit Bake. And what you should see happen is it should put this blue square on top of our plane. And this is going to be the area that this uh, enemy can move around in. They can't move around in this outside area. And you can mess around with it using like some of these variables, uh, like some of these variables right here, but those aren't really important for this current episode in time. And so now we just need to do one more thing. We need to create our enemy. So we're going to go to game object, create other, and you can make it anything you want. If you've got a model, you can use it, but I'm just going to make it a, a cylinder because they're the enemies of the capsules. And I'm going to go ahead and just name it Nemi, because why not? And I'm going to go ahead and center it so he's right next to our player. And I'm just going to move him over just a little bit so he's not really in the way. And okay. So once you have him selected, you're going to go ahead and go to Component, Navigation, Nav Mesh Agent, and attach it to your your enemy character. So then it'll add this, and then all we need to do after that 
is just add our enemy movement script. So we only need to fill in one variable and that would be our target. So what we would need to do here is take our player from over in our hierarchy and drag him and drop him where the target variable would be declared. So what this should do now is if I go ahead and hit play, there you go. You can see that he is following us on our platform and we can kind of fire these ball things. Still not a very interesting game. If I go ahead and get over here, yeah, you can't really see it, but he wasn't following me. But that's beside the point. Anyway, uh, yeah, I said this was going to be a quick tutorial. Uh, that's really all there is to it. I mean, you can get more complicated, like we can only follow you under specific circumstances and stuff like that, but for the general purpose, this uh, this did well. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and if you got any questions or things that you want to suggest for upcoming tutorials, please comment below, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. Uh, once again, I do a video every week, or something like that. And, uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else to say, so thank you very much for watching, and have a good day or night or whenever you're watching this.